you see we have our file here we take a look at it in JPEG and see how it looks and this is how our file looks pretty nice clear clean and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to bring up uh, open office and press and basically we're going to create an empty presentation to start we're, we're, uh, we're just, just going to use the uh, default settings uh, no we're not going to have no uh, effects okay let me see if I could uh, make this small enough hopefully this is it's not too too small for y'all to see so here to create a presentation uh, you have an option to choose here of master slides and master slides what it is is a, just a set of templates that you can choose uh, here's some defaults from uh, open office you select and every time you create a new slide the background instead of being white what it is now it'll, it'll, the master slide will be uh, uh, created uh, for every single slide uh, basically what we're going to do is we are going to literally create a master slide for using our new template uh, we're, we're going to go up to view master and hit slide we have our master slide view option here and basically what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we are going to uh, right click and it's going to bring up the window it's going to say slides and here we say set background picture for slide once a window comes up we are going to select our picture that we created uh, within GIMP and of course we save it in our desktop and here's our impress template we're going to open that and there it is let me see if I can open this up a little bit more So now we have our our template here. I see another minimize here, and as you can see, our te our uh, our template text here needs to uh, decrease and perhaps uh, move up a little. So we set this up correctly. Now all our slides that are created won't we won't have to uh, do it ourselves every time we create a new slide again here's our logo and is that will be created every single time and in our footnotes we may want to just uh, drop it on the notch use the arrow keys to move that down a little bit move that down we're going to move that down just below the shadow line and if you remember or recall when I had explained that to remember the font that you use for your uh, picture back here when we use these to, to create a consistency what uh, we are going to do is we're going to go up here and format and we're going to uh, we're again we're going to select our our template text here for our title we're going to go to format character and when our window comes up we are going to look for uh, sand bold have it here oh, hold on let me see and take another look okay here it is and we're going to do select our bold and we can keep that and we might want to do our 
our uh, our effects we we'll probably put an, uh, a shadow behind that and that's how our text will look and once all this is done um, we are good to go we're just gonna close our master view here in this section here is our slides and basically when we when we're, what we're gonna start is doing our outline and this is uh... let's start by start selecting um, adding notes here And then continue on. Now we have our outline, and of course, you can add your notes for each of your slides. And now we go to normal view. you select your presentation now you have your title and then your notes and easily made your presentation using your software I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial thank you